he had 40 over there and it was easy. And then he has 20 kilos in here and it's quite hard. And in a year you need to keep the balance as well. So this has been quite good as well. Okay, sitten Anko Niskassa se ylösnousu sivulta ja kiertää tänne. This is this is quite a, quite a good moment to hammer throw. Alemmas, alemmas. So you need to use your legs. And if you think about hammer throw, hammer throw, uh, you need to you need to use this part of the of, of the of the leg quite a lot. And and have, and and the movement is quite similar as as you have in throw because you're you're doing it like this. So in this one you're also doing work with the, what do you call this? I only know one word and I don't want to say it in... <laughs> Glutes! <laughs> in, in track and field we're quite practical as you know, so... <laughs> with the terms and everything, so... Okay, uh, uh, um, Sit then. Tanko niskassa kiertoa vielä. Tai kyljet on. So you can do the side also with this one. So this is the way to put, if you want to put 100 kilos in this, you can. I don't know what's the point to take, do that, but but anyway, it's it's uh, it's a little bit different again than he. The, the movement, range of movement is, is a bit wider than if you just have the, have the disc behind you. But you need to be careful all the time with your back when you do this. So, the last one that we have is, again, quite specialized to hammer throw. Uh, basically the same thing than, than you, than, than you do, did with the bar when it was in your, in your neck, but now the bar is hanging. And you can use quite a lot more weight when you do this. Okay. Kiitoksia. I can't say. All right. We we'll give a big hand to Apo. preparing for his uh, throwing session in the afternoon. Okay, kiitos. But the idea for you, I mean, the, the thing that I wanted to explain to you is, is that uh, when you're a hammer thrower, you have to think of quite a lot uh, and you have to think quite differently how to develop those muscles that you actually need in a hammer throw. And they are different muscles than you do with the Olympic lifts. So that's why you have to use Quite a lot of imaginations to, to, to create those those uh, drills or movements or whatever you need to to improve the muscles that you need in the throw. And maybe this is something that you can also think of uh, in your in your own practices or in your own coaching when you in, in javelin throw when you when you're making some uh, Olympic lifts or whatever. Sometimes it's good to think that what does this mean in, in javelin throw? Where exactly in javelin throw you do things like this? Not that many times. Still, the the movement is straightforward, and maybe you can you can do do it better by some other other exercise. I don't know. You're the you're the expert in that one. But in this one, we have to do do it uh, quite differently because we need to move the implement around our body and that makes it interesting and tricky sometimes sometimes and uh, but uh, I enjoyed my time the past 20 years when I when I was amateur this is what I had to say to you and uh, hopefully hopefully there was something that you, you can you can use in your own own training and own coaching thank you and if there's any